So, Fizzle, let's talk about Horror Fest today. Tell me, how's it going for you? How have you found it? Oh, it's been wonderful meeting my Liverpool Pudlian fans. It's been great. And uh, it was really cool doing a literary panel with one of my heroes, Ramsey Campbell, and one of my friends, Paul Kane, who's a wonderful writer as well. And it's just, it's been great. Enthusiastic fans coming to see us all. It's been great. Have you been to any of the uh, stores today? Some jewelry over there with No. Together. I have to go. Sorry. I, I love horror jewelry. I'm not wearing any at the moment. Oh, I've got my little red skulls. No, I must check it out, actually. I haven't seen anything. I haven't moved from here, so I must do that. It all looked, for the little I've seen, it looks great. And I want to thank Uncle Frank Productions for putting this on because they've done a, done a wonderful job. Can you give us a little bit, drop a bit of knowledge on, us on, the, on the film industry and horror and how it was and how it is today? And... Well, I think it goes through, you know, swings and roundabouts. The, you know, during the 80s when I did Hellbound, um, it was coming off of a very successful, fairly low budget British film. And when I started doing conventions in the, you know, about 10 years ago, I couldn't believe the enthusiasm, especially in America, for a cult British horror movie. So, the, you know, but things, then things change. You get, you know, people like Carpenter who's been doing all this stuff for, for decades and stuff. And then there's a new breed of directors coming out and they're doing wonderful things. But what I would truly love to see is a little less remakes. As Doug Bradley Pinhead has said, you know, um, no more remakes, it's a waste of good celluloid, which is a. <laughs> which is a, a take on one of his lines from Hellraiser. Um, I don't know, I just things seem to be exciting. There's some great stuff out there. There's some crap out there. It's, you know, I think that uh, some of the stuff that's coming out of Canada, I'm Canadian, is wonderful. I love the Saska sisters. They did American Mary and Dead Hooker in a Trunk. And now they're doing sort of action revenge films and, and stuff. And I, I find the independent scene rather more intriguing than like mainstream you know what they're doing is really interesting because they have more freedom to do it making a remake of i haven't seen it so maybe it's wonderful but remaking carrie remaking halloween you know i i, I my i haven't seen these films so my judgment is out but there's um I would just like to see more new ideas being explored. But it's a risk-adverse culture at the moment. Although a friend of mine in the music business said, don't kid yourself, it's always been risk-adverse. You just have, if you're lucky, you get in there with an idea like Clive did. He had the books of blood, they were popular. He said, I want to direct this film. It's called Hellraiser. And they let him make it, which is astonishing considering how transgressive it is so you know it's just people pushing boundaries all the time and trying to do new things and rather than just shock for the gore grizzly sake maybe do a little bit more psychological stuff that's my take on it what about festivals and, and things like this like we've had comic con and there's fitness conventions as well and, yeah. and, i mean i don't really know that was for a lot of festivals is this a is this a big thing or is this new or <laughs> there seems to be a lot more horror festivals in the UK and the United States than there were 10 years ago, that's for sure. I think that the horror movie market has exploded. Um, but actually a friend of mine made a, a movie, her name is Devi Snively, and she wrote, did a movie called Confederate Zombie Massacre. And she made it for like $10,000. And she said, I, I'm, I like horror a lot, but one of the reasons I made a horror fan, film is that horror fans are more forgiving of bad production values because they're interested in the scares. As long as you can provide the scares, they'll forgive the fact that maybe, oh, is that the lighting guy in the corner or something? So, you know, with the festivals, I think it's great to celebrate horror. I think it's in many ways an ignored genre. Certainly big publishers, big movie com companies aren't, put that's why they're doing remakes. They want to, they don't want to lose money. But it's, it's a genre that, should have more respect than it does, in my opinion. So you, you, did you start out as an actor and then you became a writer? Is that what your books are? I've always written stuff, right. but um, uh, I was an actress, got this part, I've got a few other parts, but 
you know, my CV isn't big. I went into casting after that, which really killed the business for me. But um, what role could I be in? Oh, I don't know. Some Robert Downey Jr. Maybe. Oh. Um, I started this idea for my novel, The Venus Complex, a long time ago, and it took a long time to finish and a long time to find a publisher who understood me. But it's been compared to Hannibal and American Psycho. It's a diary of a serial killer written from the male viewpoint, and it's gotten wonderful reviews. So, but it's an independent press. So it's as always when I go to conventions, people go, "Oh, I didn't know you wrote. Don't you follow me on Facebook?" Um, so you know, I'm still pushing this, and then I've got a new collection out in the end of October, hardback with beautiful illustrations in it by some of the best artists in the genre including Clive Barker. And each story is illustrated by a, whore, a top four artist. So, um, which is really exciting. Uh, it's kind of a dream project for me. I'm just trying to find one that's kind of suitably icky. Okay, this is a, a short story about sleep paralysis. This is an Alpdruck. He's a German demon. He does exist in German folklore. Why am I speaking with a German accent? But anyway, so this is going to be beautiful. It's, you can pre-order it on um, the publisher's website, which is Short Scary Tales Productions, SST Productions. You can pre-order signed copies of this book. Sorry for the excess pimping of my things. <laughs> any last things, any last shout-outs that you want to do? Well, I just want to say thanks to all the people who organized this wonderful festival. It's great to be back in Liverpool. Thanks to Elaine Sheedy. Elaine Sheedy. Can you edit that bit? Yeah, go again. Go again. Elaine Sheedy for you know his wonderful artwork and for producing this great festival. And it's just been such a privilege to be here and meet fans and who are interested in not only my work in Hellraiser but also my my books as well. So thanks to everybody. And I can't think of anything else because I haven't slept very well. <laughs>